Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. When a budding reporter is trying to do something to prepare for a shoot, he's got to sit down someplace. This reporter decided to sit on the property of Chick-fil-A. I was there maybe possibly 20 minutes. I actually did remove my outer layer of clothing that I used to keep myself warm at night. I was sitting in a pair of sweatpants with my shoes off, sorting through a bin that I need to look through for something for me, like sunglasses, to make sure I still had some. And openly, it's a simple task. Around the corner came a bald-headed, obvious police officer by, by his stance and his statue and how he approached me, offering me a very call, tall, cold water glass. The goal on his part was that he had already called police, apparently, on me. But his goal was to slow me down by offering me water. I said, no, please. The Lord said, get up and follow him. So I did. And I'd say, I said to him something simple. I'd like you to ask you to leave me alone. And with that, the man quipped back, I'm the owner of the property and you're actually trespassing on my private property and I don't have to allow you to be here. And now that you've been rude, I'm gonna call police. And I thought, I'm not being rude. What I said after that was quite simple. There's a lot of people who are trying to play with me and provide me bad food so that I have poor stools and provide me something in my water so that I fall asleep and they can steal from me. And that is what happens to intelligent people like me who are living in the streets because of identity theft, cybercrime, police brutality that broke out an ACL repair, and openly liars like him. I said to him, if you were the owner of this property, then most likely you would have said to me, hi, I'm the owner of the property. May I help you today? And then you would establish a real neighborly attitude towards someone who still has money to pay for food. But what these operators did was totally different. All of a sudden then I said, well, you'll not call police because that's immoral. It's unprofessional and openly it's unethical. What you're telling me is you'd like me to leave and I'm happy to do that, but you need to allow me the chance to do that. And then we have no problem. But instead his lie was already in play. I moved myself away, but as I moved away, I moved off the property and began to make a recording as a reporter. And I was recording, but both of the recordings that I was making got miraculously ruined by somebody. Now, who has the technology available to do that? Is it a Verizon shop behind where I am right now that has employees that do that? Is it a Dottie's employee who's got lots of time on their hands that they can do that? Is it someone a part of a stalking network that's trying to interfere with somebody like me for going forward in life? Or is it really a police department that says we don't like you for what you represent in the homeless population, which is intelligence? And openly, that's what I do for a living. I provide intelligence to companies who don't want their national brands lied about. Because here's where the lie came about. When I was over on the Best Buy to check to see if I really had a video because it looked like I might not have, I had to get in some shade of the building. And I am a regular shopper, not of Chick-fil-A anymore because of how they treated me so rudely with their Muslim people, which is kind of shocking because it's a Christian organization. But usually I'm a regular shopper to Best Buy every year. I usually buy something, several things. But I'm not going to be like everybody who goes there week after week, every single day, that's for sure but I'm still a customer there. So I sat myself down to check and I found that in truth, I didn't have the videos, they were gone. Strangely, because I record videos every day and never have a problem. But then two police officers drove around and tried to figure out what to say. A black officer approached me, I took his plate, I continued to put my things away, and openly I said, please leave me alone today. A white officer had parked further down the street to make a scene for Best Buy people to piss all over me as a consumer in a community. And when that officer took over the speaking and the talking, he wanted ID, which he didn't have rights to, and I told him no. And openly, he was pissing on me for the fact that I happened to be sitting on Chick-fil-A property. It was a matter of five minutes between the time that I pretty much, maybe 10 at most, that I left one property to go to the next by walking. And openly, here's what I can say. He told me that the manager of that building did not like me there. The manager already told me that. All I needed was a couple minutes to put my things together to leave. But I find it interesting how poorly these companies handle their alleged local owners 
or train them how to be appropriate in a community that openly has city ordinances that are supposed to protect the indigent. But we have a marvelous religious right, don't we? That like to play on top of people, harm people, abuse people, cut their beards off, and pretend they're not doing anything wrong at all, nothing immoral at all. But let me ask you, on a hot blistering day, and someone needs to look for something out of the way, where are we supposed to sit? Should we not be able to be welcome in a house of the Lord? Chick-fil-A is known across the land as being Christian. So why in the world wouldn't a manager approach me and say, hey, I'm the owner of the company. I'm wondering if you might like some ice water today. You might be parched from the blistering day and God loves you just like our sign says in Ephesians 4.32 or whatever it said. And we just like to serve you today. But I would like to ask you if you wouldn't mind just being really careful when you're sitting here. And when you're finished, would you mind putting up your chair? And if you don't mind, could I ask you what you're doing here? And that would have created an entirely different professional conversation with me as a human being in the community, as an indigent person, and as a person who gets really tired of the lies of white men like that with bald heads who are police officers pretending to be something they're not.